Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week, as you can see, while the state of the bench, it's that time again. It's the old um, donations and purchases time. And today, so yeah, it's Boxing Day today. I've got a couple of hours to spare because uh, we're not going to visit until uh, this afternoon. So that makes a change. We've been that the last three days. We've been in and out like fiddler's elbows visiting family because we've got a big family so anyway have a look and i hope everybody's enjoying their uh, boxing day and they've had a great christmas and everything else so we clear the bench and uh, we'll get this uh, get this rocking and rolling okie dokie dokie let's get on there shall we right we're going to do their way around this time i'm going to do donations first and then uh what i what i got um after simply because uh it's the second half of that big quite a large box load that i got must have been over quite a few kilos so anyway let's crack on the first donations come from um, peter horton good friend of the channel and he sent me a load of trailers which is great because i always like to have good trailers so we'll get these across here and we'll have a quick look at them. It's very kind of you, Peter. Thank you very much. So I've got loads of tractor units, but not many trailers. So we'll go through these. This is the Matchbox, king size, number 20. Tasker Transporter. So we've got a nice flatbed there. Got the wheels on the back. Got the pin at the front. That's broken, but we can replace that easy enough. So that's that one. This one, I think it probably had a uh, something on the back of this. Not sure what I had on the back of there, but it's irrelevant really. This is the Corgi, made in Great Britain. So that's that one. Out of the way. Got a tractor unit. This is a Corgi, Mercedes Benz. I would imagine that probably goes probably goes with that. I would say, yeah. So that's cool. Very cool. And what else we got? Yep. This is a uh, Matchbox Super Kings K18 Texaco fuel tanker. It's complete. Now, see this on here. I bought something um, the other week, actually. It's uh, hydrogen, oh, I can't pronounce it, hydrogen peroxide, and I bought a UV lamp. So, hopefully, won't. We'll things like this we can get get cleaned up that's another one nice one i think this is the same yeah matchbox yeah same one so that looks a nice overpainted job i like ones like this they look so good when you finish them off that's another trailer and two of these these are corgi juniors so they'd be good because i am missing trailers for my corgi junior tractor units so there you go. Thanks very much, Peter. Really much appreciated, my friend. Really much appreciated. Yeah, you have to excuse me if I'm a bit stumbly this morning. I had a few beers yesterday. And, uh, you know, I don't drink very often. In fact, I, basically I drink once a year. Um, so I had a, I'd had a few yesterday. Well, we're having Christmas dinner, as you do. Right, let me just uh, put these down here out of the way for a minute. Right, okay, yeah, so excuse the uh, things. Well, the second donation box came from Paul, Paul Toyman, 001. He sent me some bits and pieces that he, he's not going to do. So uh, I thought very much appreciate it. Thank you very much, Paul. Paul, Paul Toyman, 001. There you go. Cheers, Paul. So what we got in here, get it down. Like I say, you have to excuse the uh, organisation today. Not great. We've got a few things going on. First thing, Chipfield Circus. Nice one. Yeah, it's missing the back bit, but you can get that easy peasy. Yeah, it's the old scammel. Nice one. Got the crane in place, got the end on there. We're doing good. 
That's the old scammer. Now look at these. This one here, Matchbox Super Kings. Dodge Dragster. Look at that, that's nice, isn't it? Old Dodge Charger Dragster. Yeah, that's it. All right. Engine, blower. Big fat is on the back. Don't know why we need a tow up, to be honest with you, but there you go. Yeah, doors opening, interior. So this would be a nice one to do. That'd be a cool one to do. And another, looks like another dragster. This is the, uh, oh, AMX Javelin. There you go, look. Matchbox Super Kings, 1975. AMX Jaguar. Got doors, got good glass. Got a nice meaty engine in the front. A little bit of damage there, but we can sort that out. Yeah, cool. Got the louvers on the back. Very nice. Very, very nice. And then we got this one, which is a uh, man from Uncle Car. Oldsmobile, 68, but it's been repainted. Glass is missing. But that's a good source of spares anyway, that one. Front glass is missing, but the back glass and side glass is in. Yeah, that's cool. Got the old Thames Trader. Thames Caravan. Got the doors on the back, which is good. Oh, God, the doors are a bit tight. But it's got the interior in, so that's all right. Yeah. White tyres on. Good tyres, those. So they'll be a good set of spares. Good windows. Yeah. Always nice to do these. You can do variations of colours and they always look nice no matter what colour you do them. Yeah, and they make good code 3s if you're into the code 3s. Nice one. Next one up. Got old Corgi toys. Road services, Bedford. These also are very nice to do. Various colours, bits and bobs. Got the glass in. Yeah. Split window one, so it's an early one. Very nice. Very nice. And then we've got a um, a buggy. It's got a bit of rear glass on there. I didn't notice that before. This is Matchbox Sandcat. 1972. Green and red. Looks nice. An old Sandcat. Well, three on the front. So that's all good. We've got an old Dinky's fire engine. The old Dinky Tours fire engine. The early one with the ladder and the bell and what it has on it. Yeah, that's cool. I've got my arm on the box here. So, yeah. Because they said the box takes up so much room. Yeah, so that's a cool one to do. I do like these. They're nice. Very nice. And there you go. And I'll go. I think it's yesteryears. I think it's his, uh, yeah, models of yesteryears. I think it's a Ford in it, I think. I don't know, it's a number 12 or something. But yeah, these are nice and good nick, actually. It's not bad at all, just wants to clean up. Yeah, just wants to polish, and that's fine. Calm as mustard. There you go. That's a nice one. And then we get on to uh, something a little bit different. The old Tonkas. I do a lot of Tonkas. I'm getting quite fond of these, to be honest with you. These small Tonkas and, the, and slightly bigger ones. So we're going to have a go at a few of these. This is a nice little buggy. Should look nice on the shelf when it's done. Uh, then we go, got a little, well, a little bit bigger. That's a funny steering wheel. Look, it's like a rubber on there. This is another Tonka. Bit of a beast, this one. It weighs in it quite heavy. But I think we can do something with this. I'm not sure if I'll put the stickers on it again, but yeah, definitely get it a different colour. Not pink, um, that's for sure. But yeah, this should be nice. Really nice. So, yeah. Excellent. Something different for the channel. Another Tonka. I think this was a skip truck, I think, or a tipper or something. I'm not sure. Double wheel to the back anyway. Um, but I have to investigate this. Yeah, we can do this. Now I've got the hydrogen peroxide and the UV lamp. We can brighten all these all this stuff up yeah 
Yeah, that's cool. And the last one is this one. This is I'm definitely I'm gonna do this actually. I'm gonna do this if I can find a replacement sticker for this. If not, I'll just do it without the stickers on it. To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. It's just a little minivan, isn't it? Really, it doesn't have to be an ambulance. You know, there's no lights or anything on top, so it can go without. Yeah, I think this would be a nice project because it's a bit tatty, glass is filthy, uh, and the interior's gone a bit yellow. So this would be an ideal candidate for that uh, hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this one. Yeah. I think we can do that. I think we place the rivet on there. I've seen a few people do these. So I'll have a look. Right, so that's a great donation from Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. I hope you've had a good holiday, enjoying your uh, Christmas time off. There we go. So thanks very much, Paul. Very much appreciated, my friend. Much appreciated, as all donations are. I'll just pop these back in here because I don't want the I don't want to um, mix these in with the others because when I do them I know where they come from and I can uh, relate because you do forget sometimes. Right, okay, that's the donations. So thanks again for them, and now we get on to uh, what I've purchased. We will do the smaller items first. This one, like I say, you have to excuse me while I um, knock about. We was into the Doctor Roos. Have a look at this. The old K9. This is made in China. BBC licensed, worldwide limited, made in China. It is battery operated. You have to loosen that screw. And there's a battery cover in there. I have tried it. It doesn't work. There's, there's some wires that come adrift. So I need to work out where the wires go and stuff like this. So it should be a nice little build to do. Uh, repaint. It's plastic. But we can do that. We've got plastic primer. Just don't put it in a caustic soda. I'm going to put a little note on there. Do not put in caustic soda. <laughs> now that's a cool little build if you like Dr. Roos. Then we got this uh, Corgi Toys Volkswagen. I've got the other Corgi Toys Volkswagen, which is the uh, uh, panel van. So we've got this one now. So this would be nice. And I might keep it the same colour scheme, the, the green and the cream, because that look quite nice together. Yeah. 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 So there you go. We've got this one. Cool. A little Porsche. Here we go, a little pause there. Nine to eight matchbox made in Macau, nineteen seventy nine. That one, and we got another green on it. Broken screen. Good source of spares. I've got a couple of these now, so it's good for spares. If everything's broken. Yeah, so there you go. So that's that little lot there, and then. Here, just move that over there. Like I said, apologies for being a little bit unorganized. Now, this is a nice one a Dinky Toys Princess 220. Yeah, this will come up nice. This brings back memories for me because the company I work for used to have a couple of these as company cars, and I borrowed one for a few weeks. Oh my god, um, yeah, great body shape, but. It were a bit of a rubbish car. But yeah, nice. Yeah, very nice, that one. Well, Wedger. And this one is a Dinky Toys uh, Mark 10 Jag, not the Corgi. This is a Dinky. Now, the, the Corgi one has a lift up front. But this just has the boot at the back that lifts up. And no doors open or anything like that. It's got good glass all round. So it's a good candidate. I prefer this one to the Corgi one because the Corgi one with a lift up bonnet causes bending here on the bumper and that front lip. So this is me personally, my personal choice, this one. Yeah, so we're going to work on this one. Nice, nice piece, nice piece. That one. 
And then I've got these. Oh, this is it. These are um, Lone Star. We've got Lone Star there. I'll get, I'll get these out because they're virtually the same. These two are the tractor units are the same. And I've got a two trailers to go with them. They're all Lone Star, so you can put whatever, what, whatever, whatever. Like that. Those two Lone Stars. And this one. I think, I'm not 100% sure where this is. It might be a Tootsie. This might be a Tootsie, I think. Can't really read the name at the minute. But yeah, you might be able to read it through them. If I hold up the camera, you might be able to read it better than me, but I can't read the bloody thing. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, so the post is broken at the bottom there. But yeah, that'd be a nice little piece to do. This won't go in the caustic. This will go in the paint stripper because it's quite old. And sometimes, if you're not careful, they will fall apart if you put them too old. In there, they will fall apart. Uh, then we've got this and this, which I think is really, really nice. This is made in England. It's an Arbor, A-R-B-U-R, Arbor. This is a nice little unit. It's been repainted, obviously, so I'll probably strip it and repaint it anyway again. Yeah. But that's that one. It's an Arbor. That's quite nice. And what else? We oh, yeah. Yeah. Have a look at this. This is the trolley jack. I think there's a piece needs fixing on it, but yeah, it's a trolley jack. Yeah, and it uh, it does actually work. Look at that. And there's the arm there to help with it. I've not quite worked out. There's, there is a piece which is broken on it, but it's it's here. It just needs me to look at where about it's come from, where, it's, where it needs work on. But yeah, it, it does work. And I thought that was a cool piece. That would be nice display piece bruce patented bruce patented i mean that's a hell of a scale in it when you think about it so i think that painted up in the red a little bit of detail that'll be a nice piece just a display piece on its own so that's that and okay and it came with a couple of tools we got a big hammer and that might be handy to be using on tapping something you know but yeah big hammer that would be cool and last in the box, and this was a little job lot actually, is this little thing, little Vanguard. Look at this. You would mistakenly think that was a matchbox or something, wouldn't you? But look, it's, um, I think it's a wind up. Yeah, there's a key there somewhere for it. I haven't got a key for it, but um, it is. If you look inside, you can see the cogs in there. Look, I don't know what brand it is, I haven't got a clue. It's got a lever at the back there, you can obviously make it stop and go. But yeah, this would be a little interesting thing to, to take apart and have a look. Yeah, a little Vanguard. Got springs, there's a lot of cogs in there. If you look closely through there, there's a lot of cogs in springs in there. I'm hopeful it don't all go mad. Yeah, so that's a cool. I like that. So that's that little um, job lot I bought, which I thought was very good. And I just put, I've got to put these back in here. So just be patient when I do that, because if I don't, I'm going to end up in a bit of a mess. Yeah, so that's that's cool. We're all good. Well, I hope you all didn't eat too much yesterday. We always go out for Christmas dinner because we have a big family and half the we always take the family out who haven't got partners. If you understand what I mean, we always take them out. Oh yeah, this fell out of the box. A yeah, little matchbox 1100. Right, I'm going to break it here and I'm going to get this big box sorted out. Alrighty, part two. Let's crack on it. These are a mixture of smalls, some biggish ones on here. Just what I'm just trying. I just took them out of the box and just piled them up here. So um, I'm going to just go through them a lot easier than trying to put my hand in the box every time. Uh, super fast matchbox pony and trailer missing the back door I'm not going to spend a long time over these because there's a lot of them and uh, a lot of these you've probably already seen in various other people's videos 
Uh, mostly matchbox here. It's the old uh, eight wheel crane. That one. And then there, there. Super fast matchbox. Barger bug. There you go. There's that one. Put them down there. Now I've got a model of yesteryears. I still get these because uh, they're good for spares. Okay. Model of yesteryears, this one. That one there. Another one here. A lot of these are missing seats and all sorts, but the windows. Uh, window screen frames are good lights are good wheels are nice these wheels could be look nice on another car if you wanted it to so yeah here we go matchbox lucid tipper it's all there i think it's missing the uh the black piece there what uh stops it from dropping down yeah it's a bit wobbly that's still a good one to restore. There we go. Uh, what's this one there? Toyota MR2. There you go. Toyota MR2. Matchbox. There. Another, uh, yeah, this is a Matchbox Super Fast. Yeah. Pied Piper. I think it's missing the engine at the front there. Nice pipes, aren't they? Look at them. They're some beastie pipes, aren't they? They're like a metallic blue. There you go, Pied Piper. This one. Another matchbox. Quite a lot of these are matchbox in here, actually. Um, I'm not sure reading that. You're, in fact, I could read it probably better through here, but yeah. Anyway. There we go. That's a Mustang of some sort, so anyway. So there you go. A lot of decals on here. Glass is okay. Engine's in. This one's new decals. And a clean up. The Mac one. Now, Porsche. What's it doing? Quite nice. Got a bit of felt pen number five on there. Little Beetle. Uh, what's this? Who's this making? Who makes this? Oh, it's by Marks. Yeah, this one. Volkswagen. Hong Kong. By Marks. There you go. Nice little beetle. If you're into your beetles. Matchbox. Lesney's. Number 44. Missing its doors. There, super fast, yeah. Whoosh and push. There you go. Another one. Yeah, it looks like a, uh, is it a Chevy Pro Stocker, super fast again. There you go. That one there. Oh, so I'm not going to hang around too long because if I if I pan the camera around, I'll show you what I've got to get through. <laughs> you can't get through that lot. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's why we're not going to be hanging about. Um, Matchbox series number thirty-two, fifty-two. Dodge Charger. Got the lift-up lid. There you go. I think this uh, wheel's gone a bit dodgy. On that one, here's a nice little Hurst. I think this is a matchbox, or is it a matchbox? Cadillac Hurst, anyway. Can't really, can't make out what that says on there. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's a matchbox, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a nice little piece, actually. Is that one? Matchbox Ferrari. Missing the wheel at the back. Glass is okay though. Overpainted. That one. I get quite a few of these uh, little corgi trailers. At the minute. These little things here. Or that way around. I don't know which one. One way around or another. Yeah, a few of them. A bit of a transporter on the back here. 
matchbox car transporter usually always missing the tops so that'll be used for spares of some sort a little tank matchbox sp gun if you like your military stuff some tracks need doing for that matchbox here again it ran the right way yeah number 23 tipper gmc tipper quite nice actually got the windows in got the tilt cab got the tailboard cool hey here we go barongo barugo whatever you call it for an old ferrari ain't gonna do much with that never yesteryears like i say i usually keep these for spare parts and bits and bobs don't like to throw things away like you know they're the matchbox these are quite common these ones here there you go super fast model 8 might make a hot rod out of that actually as it comes to chop the, chop the roof down pointers this one i think somebody just recently did this i'm not sure if it was belgium die class you you on i'm not sure can't remember now uh yep Yeah, ergonomic cab. Well, that's neat. It's all there. That one. Got the caravan with the roof. There you go, and that's that one. That's cool. Uh, we'll save that for a bit. Bear on that. And the 75. Good restore wall condition and there's a Jaguar engine good glass on the top bit scuffed but it can clean up body works not so bad on this one I'm just debating whether I can clean the glass up without taking it apart there you go that's that one Xbox number 50 kennel truck Half a bumper. Half a word, my Mike. Mike. Michael in Australia. I think he's done some bump front grills for these. So that's that one. Big banger. Yeah, seen better days. Big banger. There you are. Yeah, the old. Uh, Matchbox Super Fast Personnel Carrier. I think he's been under a low bridge or somebody nicked his sandwiches and knocked all the reds off. Yep. That's that one. Yeah, look at this. Nice bike. Easy handlebars. I'm not sure whether this is a Britain's or something like that. I'm not sure. It's similar to the one I did before. Made in England on it. I'm not sure what else it's got on it. This is England on it. It's got the stand anyway. Just needs handlebars really. Engine's complete. Exhausts are there. Front and back wheels are there. So yeah. This would be a nice one to go with me. the other one. Got a dual red light. Yeah, cool. This one, the Mercedes missing the boot. Yeah, matchbox number 46. Shame it's missing the boot because it's not a bad condition apart from that. And I've had a look, there's no boot in here. Milk float. Matchbox again. Matchbox, super fast. There you go, cattle truck. I think it's a cattle truck, yeah, cattle truck, yeah. That's not a bad condition again, look, that's pretty good. Some of these I won't touch. I'll just clean them up. Because the wheels are all right. Not hardly scuffed on there. Look, it's just a bit bent. And the axle's a bit bent. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Another one of these. Mercedes. Scaffold truck, I think this is. Yeah, scaffold truck. Yeah. Cool. Another Morris 1100. Missing the back bumper. Reasonably good glass. Got a dog in the back. 
So they could be used for spares, this one. There you go. The Matchbox Super Fast. Lotus Super 7. The old roller. Silver Shadow. 1969, number 69. There you go. Missing the front glass, but apart from that, not too bad a nick. Porsche, Corgi, Porsche Carrera, in the black with a gold stripe. Look at this little beauty here, look at this little MG. I ain't got a clue where that's come from. You probably what, not, might know what brand that is, I don't know. I've seen the logo, but I can't place it. Little MG, that's nice. I'm going to keep that separate out of the way because I don't want to lose that. Um, another matchbox super fast blaze buster with the ladders which is cool always good to have the ladders if you can uh, missing the doors wherever this is ISO Griffo missing the doors good glass though oh, that's a tractor unit to that thing I just showed you a minute ago that one got a bit of a biggie here this is a matchbox super kings plymouth grand fury there you go quite nice not bad nick that one so that's that one another matchbox unimog let me know in the comments if i'm going too fast or you want me to go faster Matchbox Sight Dumper. I think it's had a bit of an extra load on there, don't you? The wheels have splayed a bit. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Beach buggy. Super fast again. Nice paint job on that. Missing a few bits and bobs, as they do. Lotus. Lotus Esprit, made in China, pullback. I've got a couple of these now, actually, as it happens. If you know the film, Pretty Woman, that's the one, I think. This is a nice one. Very nice, this one. Supervan, Ford Supervan matchbox. Like that one. Yeah, if I can get some more decals for this, I'll get this done. I presume somewhere will have them for sale. Overcraft. Matchbox Super Kings. Another model of yesteryears. I won't hang about on these because I know a lot of people don't like these. But it's got the seats in that one. This looks like a Lido. Yeah, Lido fire engine. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's half a truck. Tip for off, missing. Um, what we got here is a matchbox made in England. Gruesome twosome. Two engines. No axles, no wheels. But it's snapped at the back. So what I'll probably do is nick the engines out of this. And use them for the ones that have uh, got missing engines. So that's cool. Always come in handy. This, I don't know what this is. This is a matchbox. Plastic. Unimog. 2006. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen better. Good set of wheels, though. These wheels could come in handy, but I don't like the rest of it. It looks ugly. There we go. Matchbox Super Fast. Model A4. This has got a set of flat wides on the back there. That's gone. We can do something like that with it. Use the bits from the other Model A4. We could transfer onto this, like the grill and lights. I fancy chopping a roof down, though. Be nice to take all the fenders off and all, wouldn't it? Take all these side bits off. Anyway, rambling, rambling. Whoop, steady, steady. This one's overpainted. Corgi Juniors, Whiz Wheels, Mangostini, Magus, Magostida, or whatever. That one. We perhaps do something with that. Nice. There we go. 
Ford Group 6. Nice green. You don't want that, that's an old yesteryear. Some of these I'll just chuck straight back in here because they're just not worth bothering about. Got getting quite a few of these now. I could set my own um, shop up with these. Towing shop. Peterbilt, 1981. Both hooks, both arms. It's always a bonus. You don't want that, chuck that in there. Yeah, some of these I'm just uh, some of the old yesteryears well nothing nothing much oh, we might as well go with this one. Here we go, Renault. Renault TL. It's quite nice this one, actually. This will clean up nice. We'll do that one. Opening doors. Glass is okay. Being ever painted. Super fast. Renault 17 TL. 19. 70 something is it 74 not sure what this one is it's hot wheels supra there you go hot wheels supra another hot wheels mattel 1979 malaysia missing the back bucket back uh, door Not sure what this is a matchbox super fast road roller. Missing in front of the cab, I think, or maybe not. I don't know. No, I think it hasn't. No, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Another one of these. Like I said, I get a few of these now. I've got getting, getting a collection of these little things. Yeah, I don't quite know what the designer was thinking about with them. I really don't. That one. Uh, what have we got here? Matchbox number 34. Yeah, super fast. It's complete. Glass and driver. Exhaust is not broken. Wheels are a bit shot, but we can straighten them out. Yeah, nice little thing now. I'll keep that to one side because I don't want to get any more damage on that one. Uh, a little trailer for the boat. Matchbox again. I say quite a few of these in here are matchbox. Another one of these. This is a Husky or Corgi Juniors with wheels. This is the crossover between Husky and Corgi Juniors because it's got the plastic base and it's got a Corgi written on it before they change the bases. Got both suspension in place, so that's good. It's just missing the toe and arm, the back. But you could make that into just a pickup. Get rid of that and just make it into a pickup if you want. Bring out the sides a little bit. Anyway, that's that. I don't want that. I've seen loads of those. Another Beetle. Matchbox again. Volkswagen. Complete with the engine. It's been overpainted. Yeah, nice. I'll keep all the V-dubs together because I've got them in a separate box. Another one of these. Super fast. Super Cooper. Good condition, actually, this one. So that won't get restored, it'll be cleaned up. That one. Fuel tanker, BP. Lesney. There you go, not bad at all. Bumper's a bit chewed, is it? Yeah, yeah, no, it'll be all right. Yeah, it's that one. Another Mustang, similar to the one earlier on. But in better condition, we lift up on it. That's quite nice. It's quite nice. And I got this, another one of these. Made in China. Yeah. There you go, it's one of them. This one looks like a uh, BMW, yeah, yeah, BMW. Opening doors, been overpainted. Glass is in good condition. BMW. This little thing here, little matchbox, Buick La Sabre, plastic base, 1987. Is it something like probably 87? Yeah. Yeah, that one. There you go. Matchbox again. 
Yeah. Awesome. This one, field car, missing the top. Jeep, missing the driver's head and the windscreen. With wheels, Gorgie Jr. Willis Jeep. Matchbox original wheels, boot missing. Phantom, apart from the boot. Not bad, apart from the boot. Not bad at all. We don't want to see that. This little thing here. Matchbox super fast. Slingshot dragster. Complete. There you go, I got that one. Super fast. Matchbox Lamborghini. Really open the back with the engine in there. There you go. Oh, I think it's a bit. Yeah, it's, uh, I think the, the rivets getting the post is getting worn. So it's coming apart. Part of a Sierra. The other part of a Sierra. This looks like a Mark IV Cortina. Yeah, it is number five, number fifty-five Ford Cortina. We was on about that. It's a shame. I might do this one to go with the other Fords that I've done recently. Yeah, opening doors. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll keep that separate because I don't want to lose that in the box. Little Mini, Matchbox, number 29, 1970. Little Mini there. Cool. Excuse me, knocking the camera. I'm leaving that there because I think the rest of it is in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, that's part of the base. There's the windscreen. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all coming together. Is that a Volkswagen? There, that's got nothing in it. The engine's gone. That one. Another matchbox, Lesney. Big quarry dumper. Cool. Another one of these. Yeah. Yeah, big banger. The uh, front grill's all gone. Wood glass is gone. So, there you go. That happens. We've got another one of these. I like to have these because they can use the loads, you see. Use the loads. I oh, you take them all apart. Yeah, another one of these. Got quite a few of these now. What we got here then? Matchbox Super Fast Formula 5000. 1975. It's complete. Just been overpainted. I'm not sure if I had a windscreen or not, I'll have to check. But yeah, it's that one. That's a cab off something, I don't know, cover off something. Uh, another one of these Lidos, say, the old coal sacks, they're always handy to keep. Okay, one of those. Is it the Wagon Air? Yeah. Got the Wagon Air, mate. Broken screen. Not sure what this is. It's a Siku. A personnel carrier. There you go, a Siku. And yeah, that's a another yesteryears. That one. We're getting there. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. Yeah. You know, I don't quite know what they call this one. Toe something. Tojo. Yeah, missing the hooks off the back. It's nice Zephyr. This is a nice one. This would be the super fast one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Like that. Like colour. Very nice. Keep that over there. Postman pack. You don't want to see that. Volkswagen. I'm not sure what brand or whatever it is this brand is. I'm not sure. Can't really read that very well in there. I can't read it very well in the year lot might be I know what it is, but yeah. V dubs, that goes with the V dubs over there. Little Land Rover. Number twelve. Screen's in place still, which is a miracle. 
But yet the tow bar's broke. That's weird, isn't it? Tow bar's broke with the windscreen's in place. That's good. Yeah, got another one of these. Don't worry about those. So much. Got another one of these as well. Matchbox. Super fast. This time. Oh, no, he's got a head missing. Yeah. One of those. Roller. Silver Shadow. Matchbox. Good glass. Boots there. That's all good to go. This is a Hot Wheels, obviously. That thing. There you go. That's that Hot Wheels. Barger Bug. Pretty little flower on the front. Let me just move that out of the way because it's obstructing the camera view. Mercedes. Super fast. There you go. All there. Wells Fargo. Security van. Matchbox. Number 69. Super fast. 1978. Oh, no, not, not another one of these. This is the old tanker with the, get a few of them. Uh, number eight, Corgi Juniors, Formula 5000. There you go. A little pink Jeep. Jeep what rod. Windscreen's gone. The engine could be useful. Because got a few of these with them smaller engines missing. I can't know what this is. This is a matchbox. Super fast. Swamp rat. I think it's missing something around there, I think. Yeah, that one. Oh, that's the front end of that just a minute ago. I want to see that. Ah, that's the base for that Sierra. So we're about there with that now. This is a nice racing truck. Be a super fast matchbox, 1982. Kenworth. There you go. It's quite nice. Another big banger. Missing the engine. Another yes years, don't worry about that. So just a pullback Porsche with no wheels or no tyres, shall I say. Yeah, another matchbox. Volvo. Good stuff. This one, and a matchbox again. Blue Shark looks complete. Yeah. Oh, another beetle. Sand digger. There you go. Sand digger matchbox. Sand digger. Nineteen eighty-three. Do you like that one? That were the other Volkers. The old Mini. I've got some decals for this now. So I can do one of these. It's not bad. Glasses all right all around. Yeah. I'll leave that one out because I've got the decals for that now. Old school bus. Matchbox. School bus. Change the wheels on that. And get rid of all them horrible decals. Oh no, not one of these. Upside down skips. A commuter. Intercity commuter. Jaguar. 40 for 14. There you go. Missing its windscreen and stuff. This one. Matchbox. Datsun. There you go. Not bad. What's happened with a windscreen? I don't know. It's supposed to be like that or not. Yep. This is a rarer colour one. Pink one. Renault. So I'll go to one side. Yeah, it's, it's like a job lot. I mean, this was a huge job lot I got. And uh, I've already split it once. So this is a... Uh, Matchbox, 
There you go. Yeah, I've already split this box once and I didn't want to split it again, but you do get all manner of things in these. They're missing the wheels, greyhound. Got a few of these. Moggy, Corgi. Corgi Moggy. Excuse me, knocking the camera. This isn't bad. Decals are okay. No, they need clean up. I'm, I won't touch this one. I'll just clean it up because they're not. Uh, they're a little bit faded, but they're not too bad. They, they might clean up if you be careful with it. Yeah, that's a corgis. I'll keep that to one side. This little thing here. It's like Hot Wheels Ferrari. Quite nice. That one. And what have we got here? Police, Mercury Police. Missing the decals and the lights on the top. But yeah, could make that into an ordinary, ordinary uh, estate or station wagons as they call them. And it's got the cones in the back, look. Yeah, there you go, there's that one. Ah, it's an Escort Mark II. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Somebody was asking me the other day about a Mark II Escort, Lee. Yeah, there you go, Lee. Escort Mark II. It's a two-door, though. You wanted a four-door, didn't you? Yeah, Escort Mark II. Yeah, this is a matchbox. They're super fast. RS2000, this one, isn't it? Yeah, we'll keep that out with the Fords. Another Beetle. Bit beat up this one. Looks like a rally one with that on the front. What have we got here? Matchbox series number 13. Volkswagen 1500 Saloon. Yeah, it looks like a rally version with that rally plate on the front. I'll keep that with the Volkswagens. Another one of these horse trailers without the door. Another Mini. It's a chopped Mini. Corgi Juniors, that'd be nice to do. Little chopped mini. I don't want to see that anymore. Well, this one, these are your Hot Wheels. There you go. Strange looking thing, isn't it? Rolls Royce convertible without the window. There you go, got the boot working now. A stalwart BP. Everybody's seen these, haven't they? I think new. I don't know what this one is. Real Toys. Explorer. Looks like a Citroen. Got a plastic opening door at the back. Needs a bit of work. See the matchbox, super fast Citroen CX 1979. Yeah, that's worth doing because the window's in good nick, the back door's in place. Yeah, yeah, that's a doable restoration. This one, super fast again. It says number one on it. 1972, if I can remember rightly. You guys might be able to think better than me. Yeah, that one there. Nearly there. Trans Am. Pontiac number 16. 1979. It worked very good at putting the stickers on at the factory. If it was the factory, that's a bit on one side, that, isn't it? There you go. Don't want to look at that. It's just a lot of old rubbish. What have we got here? Oh, here you go. Look, Chevy. Shit, Cherry Bomb. Matchbox. Super fast. 57 Chevy, 1978. Yeah, it looks like it's complete. Yeah. Not sure we're supposed to be a gasser or not. But anyway, yeah, that's there. It's cool. And there it looks like another Trans Am, is it? Turbo Firebird. Not sure what brand or make that is, but it's, it's got no tires on the front of there. 
Uh, this is a majorette, a majorette. Majorette. Yeah. That one. Better condition of a craft than the one we showed earlier, that one. Where are we getting here? Uh, got a forklift, minus a fork. Lance and Bagnell. I went for a job there once years and years and years ago when I was a youngster. Didn't get it. Another matchbox, super fast. Jeep Cherokee. There you go. Hot it up tractor. Matchbox. There you go. Quite a nice condition, actually, that. I think that, uh, we've got some wagon that goes on. So that's not so bad. This is nice. It's the old TR. It's a bit busted up, though. Got a missing grill. This is a uh, V. I can't remember. What, V? Is it Vic? You can read that and make your own mind up what that is. Yeah. It's a shame. Mind you, we could strip this. Because I won't be able to get a grill for this, but there might be a, a dinky or corgi or could make use of a Code 3 with that on the back. Or an MG Roaster with that on the back. It's got a gear stick in there we could use. We could perhaps use part of the interior and the headlights. Yeah, we could use this one. We could use this one for spares. That's cool. I don't know what this is. No, it's just a junker pickups. Yeah. Not a lot going on there, but the wheels could be useful. Nice set of wheels on there. Nice style. <clears throat> Here we go. If you're not bored already, we're getting there. Cougar Dragster. That'll go with the other two. That I got from a donation. All good, all good. Cougar Dragster. Matchbox Super Kings. 1970. Not bad condition, paint's not too bad, a bit scuffed around the top here, but the back decal looks to be all right. This one's a clean. Yeah, the engine's in there. Front bump and grill's okay. Yeah, cool. It's all good in the hood. Another really seriously beat up Porsche. I don't know, there's no brand on this one. It's 137 scale, it's an odd scale, isn't it? 137. Yeah. That might go in a scrapyard. That looked good in a scrapyard. This one. Dairy farm. Rich clean milk. That's going in um, crap old Nick's box. We'll keep that to one side. Yeah. Another one of these branded Fords. Volkswagen Golf. Could do something with this. I'd probably change the wheels completely, put some proper wheels on, strip it down, put some different wheels on this one, or clean these ones up. It's got the headlights, got the bumper, windscreen's okay. Ain't got any door cards, don't know whether it had any or not. There's no seat backs, I don't know. We'll see. It's a maybe job, or it goes in the, in the scrapyard, or another one of these tractors. So that's two of these we've got now. But that one's... Um, not quite tracking right, is it? That one. Nearly there. Oh, another one of these without the doors. Oh, so Griffos. Somebody's pinched all my doors, mate. There's a Jeep. Super Kings. CJ8. 1977. Got the top on. Which is always a good. Another Porsche. Maestro. Little helicopter. That looks like a dog's chewed out. Look at that. That's certainly been for the mill. That one is matchbox. Yep. Yeah. Nice Merc. Matchbox again. Yeah, nice Merc. This will clean up nice. It's all there. Yeah, very nice, this little Merc. Very nice. Matchbox Chevrolet Corvette. 
That's had some play wear in it. Look at them wheels. They connect some of good go up and down the garden and the driveway and that, haven't they? Yeah, windows okay. Not flattened. Yeah, cool. Uh just a Mercedes truck with no wheels on it. That one, that's the matchbox. Got a little trailer. It's the second trailer I've got with this one. Little boat trailer. And then we've got this biggie. I like these vans. Matchbox Super Kings. Dodge van. Got the doors on the back. You can do stuff with these old vans. Nice. Put different decals on it. It's got the mirrors still. Glass is okay. I think the front wheels a little bit go up there. There's things going on there. We can try and get out of shot here. We can do that. Yeah, so that's nice. That's cool. Another one of these things, Burma things. Uh, this is Rollomatics, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Rollomatics, yeah. Matchbox Rollomatics. Missing a bit off the top. Made in England, number 54, Cadillac Ambulance. Yeah, I think the glass is, glass is shot on that one. <coughs> Excuse me. SO Extra Petrol. This is the old uh, Daimler bus. There you go. Nice. Got the dig off both sides. Not sure what this is. There's an image matchbox. Can't read it. Somebody will know what it is. There. Yeah. It's all right. This is a nice little pickup truck. Very nice. Oh, another Beetle. This is another, this is the Matchbox, number 15. 1960 something. Volkswagen, 1500 Saloon. There again, it's got that rally thing on it. I wonder if this is a Super Vast. And this is the original. No, they've both got the Super Vast wheels, haven't they? Yeah, I wonder if that's the same as that one then. I would say. Number 15, yeah, the same one. Yeah. Same wagon. Oh, okay, that's two of those. Then. It's a nice little bus, good condition. St. Ives cheese. Day's gone. There you go. It's not bad at all, that one. Another one of these. Both hooks on. It's another police one, but in blue instead of black. Boss Mustang. Yeah, another one. I think there's three of these we've got now, isn't it? Yeah. Boss Mustang. There you go. That's that one. Another one of these. This is a few of these we've got now. This is one with the black police written on it. Oh, another. Ah, well, it's got the engine in this one. There you go. Look. That's a big banger with the engine. So that's a start and a good grill at the front. Okay, there you go. Maybe cast some engines. Then a matchbox trailer without the back door. You don't want to see that. Well, that I've got one of them. So I'm just chucking stuff out we've already seen, or we've got doubles and trebles and quadruples of. Uh huh. This is a Matchbox Lamborghini. Go and tash. There you go. That one. <coughs> Excuse me. Little boat here. Might go on the track. It's got the wheels on the back, hasn't it? Yeah. Police. Police patrol boat. That one. So right, we're nearly there, people. We're nearly there. Just indulge me for a little bit longer. Fiat Ritmo, Rit Ritmo, Fiat Ritmo, which is a majorette, majorette. Little Fiat, quite nice, back opening tower board. Got a good solid tow hook on the bottom, got some crap in there, I don't know what that is, but anyway. Yeah, not bad actually to do that one, would be quite nice. Another one, 
The other Mustang. The other Boss Mustang. There you go. Same as the other one. Another boat. This one. Police launch. There you go. Another, obviously the geezers are missing in the back there. They fell apart. They've gone. We don't want to see them. We don't want to see them. They were truck scaffolding truck with this. No, it's not. Which one's this one? Made in England. Pattern number. Oh, there's the... Ah, pipe truck, yeah. This pipe truck. Yeah. It's all working. It's all there. This will be the cattle truck, wouldn't it? Yeah, super fast cattle truck. There you go. Half track, missing its tracks. Headless driver. Or headless gunman. Battle Kings, this one. If you're into your Battle Kings. Battle Kings. Another all spots without the back thing. Boss office. AD trucks made in China. Well, we can, we can perhaps change that or put a lid on the top of there. Do something with that. Not a bad little truck. Helicopter. Opening doors at the back there. Police see. I mean, I think there's a, supposed to be a stretcher that goes or something goes in there because something slides in there. I'm sure somebody tell me what goes in there. And uh, we've got all the blades, all the rotor blades are in there. Doesn't do anything else. Can't even see a brand name on it, to be honest with you. I'm sure somebody tell me what it is. Who knows the helicopters or aircraft or whatever. So that's that one. Uh, another one of these buggies. We've seen a couple of them today. Just a few more. That's like a tank. Siku. Looks like a leopard. Siku. Looks like a Corvette. This is a Hot Wheels. Corvette Stingray. 1975. There you go. 1975 Corvette Stingray. Couple more. Matchbox. Turbo Specials. There you go. Pro Stock. Bag of bits. What came with it? There's a load of... Actually, what they were, they were, these were all floating in the bottom of the box. And I picked them all out and put them all together. I haven't been through them all yet, but there's all sorts of bits and bobs in here. Yeah. So there, and then we've got... I don't want that, that's a cam trailer. Another commuter. We've all seen them. I always think they're up down. They look like skips. One way around. And I got this. It's the last one. The last one. It's a Siku. Operating there. It goes on. Obviously, it goes on there. It locks in place. I'm not sure what goes on the back of here or on there. There's something obviously goes on there. Whether it be a crane, it might be a crane. What goes in that slot? I'm not sure. I'm sure. Um, somebody will tell me what goes on the back of there because this is nice except the windscreen's broke on there but we might be able to repair that by putting a piece of plastic in there it's a man the decals on there but we can replicate that we can do something with that but there you go yeah oh what's this one fell off oh yeah it's off Thomas Little bus of Thomas. Anybody collect his Thomas the tank engine tours like this and they're missing one and they're missing this one? Let me know. Alright. That's it. That's it. So it's probably been about an hour. It's about run of the mill for these sort of things. Oh yeah, I've gone through them quickly because at the end of the day, there's no point lingering over each one because you'll be here forever. Uh, I just had to get this one out of the way this time because that was a it was a big job lot that I bought. 
and the guy actually came to the house and he had it on the sack barrow. And I thought, flipping heck, what have I bought here? But you do, don't you? But that's that's gone now. That's all done over the past two months. There again, well, thanks very much for the donations. Peter and Paul, thank you very much. And uh, you get back to whatever you're doing now. Yeah? Uh, enjoy the rest of your holidays. And we'll see you next Wednesday with the first of the restorations for the year. Yeah, next Wednesday. So we'll see you then then. Bye for now. Take it easy.